some amazing statistics with you. 90 million Americans are negatively affected by gluten, according to Braley and Hogan in the book Dangerous Grains. According to the Celiac Disease Foundation, one in every 133 Americans has celiac disease, yet only 1% currently know. Do you realize it takes the average American nine years of suffering before they find out it's gluten that's causing all their problems? Yet in Europe, they test children by the time they're five years old. Gluten intolerance is the fastest growing diagnosis in America. Dairy intolerance affects one in every four Americans, according to the U.S. Census. 102 million Americans are encouraged to follow a low cholesterol diet by their doctors. But here's the most amazing thing. People on the autism spectrum often improve when following a gluten-free, casein-free diet, as do people with irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease. What is gluten? Gluten is a protein found in many grains, and the easiest way to remember which grains is the acronym BROWS. Barley, rye, oats, wheat, and spelt. But as they say, a rose by any other name is still a rose. There are lots of other names for gluten, like bulgur, camu, farina, fu, fay, durum, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, wheat berries, couscous, semolina, spelt, spelt berries, gram flour, malt flavoring, and on and on. It's important to know all the different names for gluten. And you need to know that on labels, if it says gluten-free, it is wheat-free. But if it says wheat-free, it's not necessarily gluten-free. The other thing is to know that manufacturers often change ingredients, so it's important to read labels every time you eat a food. You may be asking, what is the difference between lactose and casein? Lactose is a sugar and casein is a protein and both are found in dairy products. And as you may have guessed, there's a lot of other words that mean dairy products like whey, calcium casinate, casinates, curds, galactose, hydrolysates, lactic acid, and more. The point is, there are a lot of hidden ingredients in foods that also mean that there's dairy in foods. And they're also found in pharmaceuticals. For a more complete listing, please visit my website at alternativecook.com. You may be wondering, how do you know if you have a food intolerance? Well, the first clue is, food shouldn't make you sick. You shouldn't need to take medicine before or after you eat you might consider taking the intolerance quiz at alternativecook.com. If you answer yes to most of the questions on the intolerance quiz, chances are you have a food intolerance, but some people are asymptomatic. Go to the doctor and get some blood tests. If you test positive, further tests can be done to find out what you're intolerant to. The thing to remember is to be eating the foods while you're taking the tests. If you've recently been diagnosed, or if you're living with a disease, or with someone who might have a disease, or if you just feel like you need support and friendship, there are lots of resources out there for people with celiac disease, autism, diabetes, heart disease, food allergies, and more. Please visit alternativecook.com for a listing of support groups and share in our online community. Ten.